How's it going? Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. Let's get on this. Time for some CPM 3V and some AEBL steel. Alright, here we go. Welcome back. So I got the oven cooked up. My first time trying some CPM 3V. This knife is from uh, Do It Yourself Easy Crafts. And here's the blade I made for him. He etched it and everything. And here's those little kiridashis I made. I got four of them. Here's another. He sent me a couple knives he wanted me to do of the AEBL steel because he hasn't got his oven yet. So we got to get those all wrapped up. Because at first he asked me to not wrap this and I told him we're going to have to go up to 1950 Fahrenheit. So the decarb that's going to build on this might make it useless. So he actually sent me a piece that he etched and we're going to put this in with no wrap to see what it looks like. I've never done stainless with no tool wrap. So we'll see what it looks like afterwards. I'm pretty interested myself. Let's get these things wrapped. Before I forget, gloves. There are even two different kinds of... <laughs> All I need is a left and right. Now this, this is the 309. This is the high temp. You know, I think it goes up to 2200 or something like this. So this is the high temp. I know the difference because I keep the low temp in a box and I keep this out. All right, to the time lapse. The knives are all done, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put all four in one I'm going to kind of like lock them together and then wrap them. Try to keep them as flat as possible. So they all lock together. That way I can flatten it all down. Alright, should be fun. Whew, there we go. Here's the four Kiridashis. You can see one. Two, three, four, and we're good to go. And the other ones, I don't know which one is which. But, all right, I think the oven's up to about 1400, so I'm gonna put them in one time, one at a time slowly. All right, over to the oven. We're at about 1400. So let's start getting these in there. Alright, so I guess I'll be back in a couple hours when it gets up to 1900. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what to do. Uh, it went all the way up to 1900 then started messing up. I've been trying to do everything to get it to work. But I think there's a, too big a hole here. It'll go all the way up to 2300 sometimes. Hey, look how it's skipping around like that. Yeah, now it's down to 1600. In 1969 and 1950, it just keeps acting crazy. Now we're up to 1860, 1878. It's like jumping around. It's jumping all around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. It's all the way up to 1900. Just gotta wish for the best. 1873, 1824, 1860, so yeah, I need to rewire this thing, but just give it the best. Woo! That is blazing hot.
It's shading. So it is hard. Let me go get the files and see where we're at. <clears throat> well, 65, 65 barely bites. So it's probably like 63 or something. 60 skates real good. Almost like glass. So good. That's good to know. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let my plates cool down. That one. That's one thing good about stainless, it's uh, air cooled anyway. The plates help it, so. Uh. Yeah, I definitely gotta figure that out, cause I don't know what the temp is on that, really. Here's the 65. Yeah, the 65 kind of bites. It looks like that got a hole in it because it got, it actually got some carbon in it. So, we'll have to see how that goes. See, I'm a little afraid we are going over because, man, all this uh, tin foil is, is kind of busting out. That thermocouple might have been wrong. Actually back up to 1800 which is good I think it went over there there for a little bit you see what the temp is on these it says under 125 you can put them in cryo okay it looks like we're about 110 I'm gonna take these up and put them in cryo All right, here we go. All right, I don't know how blown out it is or if we can see or anything, but. There we go. Got the dry ice and the acetone. Yeah, nice and cool. Only took seven hours. <laughs> So these are after cryo, the one I made for uh, do-it-yourself easy crafts is about a 63, so that's good to know. Here's a CPM3V, and it's at 66 actually, so I might have overcooked it. And just to double check, I did the other side, and the other side was at a 64. So once we temper it, it should be down good. All right. I did the other ones and they were about a 61 or 62. I got three more in the oven to do. I almost forgot the piece. The last piece. <laughs> to see how much scale actually builds up. Oh man.
<laughs> I can tell you it's a lot right now. <laughs> This piece doesn't even have to be heat treated. We're just seeing how much scale builds up if you don't put them in the foil. But the air is probably worse for it, actually. Yeah, look at that. Look how nasty that is. Look at these pieces that fell off. That's all decarb. <laughs> yeah. Oof, man. What an escapade. <laughs> if you watch my Instagram stories, man, you'll be You've been following along for the last eight hours. I started at 4 a.m. and turned the oven on, and at 12.30, they, I finally had to take them out because my oven was messing up, and the temperature sensors were going all crazy. Look at all this stuff I did to try to get it to work. That's my thermocouple, and it was just going crazy. But I went and I tested all these, and they're all between a 61 and a 65. This is the piece. Uh, Dan asked me to put in without stainless steel tool wrap. Look at all this decard. This is all, all this is just from this. That's what happens when you don't put stainless steel in a tool, stainless steel tool wrap and try to heat treat it. It just turns to garbage. So, the ABL, it's all in there. It's a little, it's about a 325. I want to add about a 60. So, 350 is about a 60. I tested it all with the HRC. Man, eight hours in the oven. I, I didn't think I would get it to work, but since it was 1900 for so long and all that, the craziness. It, two of the Kiradashis came out at like a 55 to 58, so I'll probably keep them for later. Now the CPM, the, now the CPM 3V, you're supposed to temper at a thousand degrees. The oven was down to 895, and I just put the knife in to let it cool. I'm going to temper that one later, because you got to do it at like 1,000 degrees for two hours, three times. AEBL, you only have to do it twice for two hours at 350 or 400 if you want it at like a 58. I want them at a 60, so that's about it. Well, I'm going to leave them in. I'll tell you what. I've been up since 4 a.m. starting on this project. It is now quarter to 3 p.m. Time for some sleep. What I'm, I'm gonna have to redo, I'm buying some elements next month. This month, everything's a little tight, so I have to wait. But next month, the first thing I'm gonna do, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two more lines. So I'm gonna have six elements instead of four on each side and tie them together. Cause man, that thing, to get to 1500 takes two hours, and to get to 1900 took like five or six, but there was something wrong with the thermocouple and all that. And when I felt the box, it was really hot. So, you know, just uh, what it was putting off and all that, yeah, I'm gonna put more elements so it gets hot a lot quicker. I'm gonna do another CPM 3V, but it actually worked, so. Uh, just follow data sheets. If you're if you're trying a new steel and you have an oven and all that, go to the data sheets first, and then work back and, and hone your recipe from that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Man, I am exhausted. What an experience! Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this AEBL and the CPM 3V. And now I'm gonna send this back to uh, Dan at Easy Crafts, at Do It Yourself Easy Crafts, and we can finish each other's knives, and then there'll be a whole video on that. The next video will be doing the handles on the karambit and the compound grind. All right, affiliate links. I just uh, 
I just signed up for the UK Amazon and the Canada U the UK Amazon and the Can and the Canada Amazon. So I got USA, Canada, and UK for Amazon affiliate links. They're all in the prescript they're all in the description below along with my knives and my shirts. Thanks for the thanks for the support. I hope you're having a great day and as always take it easy.